Unit 8, Lesson 17, Using Box Plots. Number 1. Here are box plots that summarize the heights of 20 professional male athletes in basketball, football, hockey, and baseball. A. Which two sports are the players' height distributions most alike? Explain your reasoning. Hockey and baseball, because their range is similar, their medians are close, and their IQRs are very close. B. Which sport shows the greatest variability in players' heights? Which sport shows the least variability? Basketball shows the greatest variability in height. And baseball shows the least variability in height. Number 2. Here is a box plot that summarizes data for the time in minutes that a fire department took to respond to 100 emergency calls. Select all the statements that are true according to the dot plot. A is true because most of the response times were under 13 minutes. In fact, three quarters or 75% of the response times were less than 13 minutes. B is true because fewer than 30 of the response times were over 13 minutes. Since there were 100 emergency calls, this section in yellow has a value of 25. Because 100 emergency calls divided by the four sections in this dot plot equals 25. And 25 is fewer than 30. C. More than half of the response times were 11 minutes or greater. That is not true because half of the response times were nine minutes or greater. Remember that quartile two is the median, and the median represents half the data. The median is nine, not 11. D, there were more response times that were greater than 13 minutes than those that were less than nine minutes. That's false, because 50% of the data is less than 9 minutes, and only 25% of the data is greater than 13 minutes. E. About 75% of the response times were 13 minutes or less. That's true, because you can see that there's about 75% of the data to the left of 13. Number 3. Pineapples were packed in three large crates. For each crate, the weight of every pineapple in the crate was recorded. Here are three box plots that summarize the weights in each crate. Select all of the statements that are true according to the box plots. A. The weights of the pineapples in crate 1 were the most variable. Yes, that's true. The weights of the pineapples inside box 1 varied the most. B. The heaviest pineapple was in crate 1. Yes, that's true. The heaviest pineapple was in crate 1, and it weighed 6 pounds. C. The lightest pineapple was in crate 1. No, that's not true. The lightest pineapple was in crate 2 and it weighed between a half a pound and one pound, probably about three quarters of a pound. D. Crate 3 had the greatest median weight and the greatest IQR. It may have had the greatest median, but it doesn't have the greatest IQR. It looks like Crate 1 has a larger IQR. Quartile 3 minus quartile 1. E. More than half the pineapples in crate 1 and 3 were heavier than the heaviest pineapple in crate 2. Yes, that's true, because more than half the pineapples in crate 1 and more than half the pineapples in crate 3 weigh more than the heaviest pineapple in crate 2. I've identified the heaviest pineapple in crate 2 with a red line, which is just under 3.5 pounds and more than half of the pineapples in crate 1 and more than half of the pineapples in crate 3 weigh more than 4 pounds. Number 4. 
Two TV shows each asked 100 viewers for their ages. For one show, the mean age of the viewers was 35 years and the mad was 20 years. For the other show, the mean age of the viewers was 30 years and the mad was 5 years. A 6th grade student says he watches one of the shows. Which show do you think he watches? Explain your reasoning. The mean age for their viewers is both pretty similar. I think he watches the first show because it's mad as 20 compared to the second show's mad which is only 5. So it's more likely that the first show would have a greater variability. And a 6th grader's age would be a lot less than the mean of 35 so it would have to have a large variability. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 8 Lesson 17 using box plots. Music